What's up, Leo? How's it going? Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go, guys. Two of Winners, the Two of Swords. The Chariot. Princess of Spring is the Page of Wands. The Moon. Pisces. Ten of Winter, Ten of Swords. The Sun. Five of Summer, Five of Cups. Okay. Guys, make sure you also check out your monthly readings. Oh, there goes the candle. Um, there's a general for May and there's a singles reading for May. All right. All right. Let's get some more on these two up here. The Two of Swords Chariot is actually your energy this week. Everything else here is interchangeable, can be for you or the person you're dealing with, surrounding circumstances, whatever. All right, let's get a couple more for your energy. Ace of Pentacles, nice. And the Magician. All right, so here's the thing, Leo. You've got some cool shit happening here, but you're having trouble making a decision. So that's the only thing that's holding you back is just, the indecision here and it's the kind of indecision where you're trying to decide between your head and your heart you don't have to pick one or the other you, you, you know you can pick both um doesn't have to be so extreme but this is also people pleasing um like kind of afraid to make a decision because people might get mad at you you know maybe wanting to um make a decision that other people will be happy with but might, might not be the best decision for you so that's where you're stuck here um, and we have the chariot, which is cancer. We have the ace of pentacles and the magician. So this is moving forward, moving towards a whole ass commitment here um, that you manifested. Like you, this is what you wanted. You made this happen. This person might be at a little bit of a distance from you. Um, so it might be kind of making the decision to go where they are or have them come where you are. But this is something that's meant to be long term. You know, um, this isn't something that's just whatever, whatever. Let's get another one up there. Let's get one on that magician. Ace of Pentacles again. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here twice. So you guys are both looking for the same thing. That long-term commitment, that stability. Oh my gosh, and the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is uh, my 11-11 card, marriage ceremony, um, moving in together, all this stability. So this is where you're at. Um, if you're not in a committed relationship already, there's definitely the opportunity for one there. And you guys are both on the same page. You both want the same thing. It's just kind of making this the decision to go for it. And with the chariot there, like the universe is pushing Oh my gosh, the fuck was I about to say? Pushing this connection as well. You know, like you manifested it. The universe is helping you make it happen. It's just making the decision, guys. Recent past, you have the Princess of Spring, which is the Page of Wands. This is like that new communication when you guys first contacted each other. It probably started off like um, attraction-based, probably sexually based. But that's not the intent here. Um, now, presently, you have the moon, which is Pisces. Something under the surface. Um, it's about letting go of fear. Even, even if you don't see everything clearly yet, you know, it's kind of just taking yourself out of that needing to know everything right now. What is the moon here for Leo? The Hierophant reversed is Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus, it maybe isn't revealing everything yet. Um, somebody might be divorced and just hasn't talked about it yet. Um, or there could be something with your spiritual beliefs, cultural beliefs, and this person, um, they might not be quite the same, or you guys might be looking for something like not all that conventional. Another one here for you. Eight of Wands. Cupid's Arrows, the Shoot Your Shot card. This is um, a lot happening real fast. It's a lot of online communication, but I mean, 
I don't even know that we really need to say that anymore. It kind of all is. But anyway, a lot of communication, but it's not just communication. This is action. It's real sexual, real passionate. If you're single, you've got a lot of freaking options. Um, this is also another one for travel. You've got two of those here now. Get another one. The Hierophant Upright. Taurus, again, you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus here. Um, it might be that you guys just need to have a conversation about what commitment looks like for both of you. Maybe just make sure that your spiritual, cultural beliefs, whatever, are in line enough so that you guys would be compatible on an actual commitment. Four of Cups Reverse, taking action. This is like, it's kind of coming out of that period of not giving a shit, being indifferent, just being kind of bored, apathetic. It's coming out of that and actually taking some action here. Now your obstacle here is the sun. The sun's the happiest card in the deck. So for that to be an obstacle, I mean, somebody might just be in the process of getting a divorce here. That might be holding things back a little bit. It might be that plans aren't working out exactly like you thought they were. Some things aren't clear. You know, we do have the moon. So there are some things that just aren't clear yet. There might be some confusion. Why is the sun here as an obstacle? Six of Pentacles reverse. So if this person's at a distance from you, their finan finances might be an issue as far as travel. I don't think it's a big issue if it's an issue, but it might just delay things a little bit. Now here in your future, guys, we have the Ten of Swords. So I'm going to, that's not what I would expect from this reading. So let's see, why is the Ten of Swords here? For Leo, why is the Ten of Swords here? Three of Swords reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Okay, I think this is past. Um, so you have a Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, Six of Cups reversed in the future here. I think this is getting over some past hurt so that it doesn't affect you anymore, so that it doesn't affect your, your connection here, your future connections. It could be that somebody's going through a breakup or divorce and um, <clears throat> starting a new connection here. So yeah, it's a painful ending, but it's the worst is over. This is healing from it. This is healing from a painful ending, healing from somebody potentially like cheating on you, an ex, um, not this person. This is like ex shit right here. It just probably was still kind of like affecting you. So, or the other person, this could totally be for them. Um, but it's kind of like leaving the past in the past, leaving the past hurt with the past, you know, um, you could have somebody coming back trying to reconcile with you that like fucked you over and you're just, you're not having it. Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, I think you have a past person coming back here in the future that like really fucked you over. And Three of Wands reversed. Yeah, you're just like, no, no, there's no future here. That's it. We're done. All right, your advice is the Five of Cups. This is coming out of an energy of being sad over the past, you know, um, focusing on like worst case scenarios, like, well, this happened to me in the past, so this is gonna keep happening to me. Um, everything feels hopeless, you know, everybody's shit. It's that kind of energy. So it's just kind of, you know, trying to heal this past shit so you don't have to sit in that negativity anymore because this, this current situation here, or what's about to happen for you, doesn't look negative at all. all right, let's get another one on that. Knight of Wands. Being spontaneous, being adventurous, going after what you're passionate about. Again, another one for travel here. Younger fire. So this is kind of like um, remembering how to have fun, remembering how to just be spontaneous and adventurous. And the Page of Pentacles, there's that commitment again. It's something that starts off really sexual, but 
it ends up to where somebody actually wants to commit here. You just might not trust it. All right, I'm gonna get you some romance oracles and then we'll get your energy with the different signs. What does Leo need to hear today? What does Leo need to hear today? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, I mean, we start off this whole thing with indecision. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. For sure, for sure. All right, let's see who we have here as far as majors. We have Cancer, Pisces, Taurus twice. Cancer, Pisces, and Taurus. All right. Let's see okay, Leo dealing with Aries. Leo and Aries. Queen of Cups reversed. They're not emotionally available. Leo and Gemini, I mean Taurus. <laughs> Leo and Taurus, which you have here twice. Uh, walking away. Somebody's walking away from that. That might be this um, X that's trying to resurface. Leo dealing with Gemini. Knight of Swords. An honest conversation. This is you guys speaking your truth. You guys, you know, trying to push this thing forward. Um, it's real kind of impulsive. You know, somebody might just start spitting, spitting shit out might not sound very um, diplomatic or whatever, but it's honest. You guys need to have a talk. Leo and Cancer, 10 of Cups, happiness, happy ending, fairy tale shit. Um, they're looking for the whole deal. They're, they're wanting to settle down and like have a family and shit. Leo and Leo, temperance. If you're dealing with another one of yourself, you guys mix well together. This is a lot of harmony um, between the two of you. It's also patience. It's really grown up energy. Leo and Virgo. Justice reverse. This might be a karmic situation. It's really not in balance right now. Or you might have a, a Virgo that you know is an ex of yours. Leo and Libra. Four of Wands. All right. 1111, which you have up here as well. So if you're dealing with a Libra, definitely a soulmate of yours, and they are looking for the whole deal, living together, getting married, whatever here, very celebratory. Leo and Scorpio, the chariot. Wow, you've got the chariot up there, so maybe this is for a Scorpio. Um, definitely moving forward. They could be at a distance from you, but it's not going to be a problem. Leo and Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Somebody feels like that's a waste of time. Leo and Capricorn. Three of Cups reversed. No. Um, third party shit there or some interfering friends and family. Or they're the kind of person that just like maybe is like an alcoholic or something. Leo and Aquarius. The Hermit reversed. If you're dealing with Aquarius and you guys haven't been like in communication, I would expect them to resurface. Leo and Pisces. King of Wands reverse. There's either no attraction between the two of you or they're very um, just sex-based, very controlling, very demanding. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you for being here. Take care.